Hello and welcome to AEF TV in association with Angerati. I'm uh, now joined by uh, Jairo Gonzalez, who's uh, the VP of Electric Power Generation from So Energy. Uh, Jairo, firstly, welcome. Uh, thank, thank you for making the time you. to be here. Thank you. Um, Good morning. And we are. Uh, we were talking a little bit about uh, off air uh, uh, before we started, and uh, So Energy uh, provide p uh, power s solutions and. Uh, you work in the whole renewable space and what I found interesting is that up until now the entire conversation around renewables has been wind, solar, uh, but no one's touched on biomass. Um, why is that? Are there some sort of specific issues why people aren't going there? Or? Uh, we, uh, so Energy started uh, 70 years ago to bring energy solutions and uh, and we are developing projects in Latin America, South America, and, in, and also worldwide projects to bring proven solutions and energy. Even when the customers are in emergency situations, we bring solutions right away, proven technology. But also we took the decisions uh, probably five years ago to go to the renewable energy. And one of the big challenges is the biomass uh, power plants. So we decided to go to the countries, uh, undeveloped countries like in Latin America and Central America, and we pick up uh, one of the ener uh, uh, countries that they need energy immediately, and the biomass was, uh, because the agriculture situation, uh, with the land and, um, and uh, sugar canes uh, uh, landfill, we were able to negotiate with the partnership, local partnership, to put a biomass power plant. Mm. Uh, this power plant is, uh, is a is type of uh, grass, and uh, we started two years with our uh, agriculture uh, team. And we bought the land, uh, it's about uh, 1,500 hectares, and we are plan planning to put a power plant for 20 megas, so, so it's a challenge. But at the same time, it's a solution for Africa to come up with uh, reliable green energy, uh, environmental free, and additionally, uh, create more uh, manpower, create uh, agriculture workers to work. It's an also social uh, event for us. But isn't one of the issues with biomass around, okay, you need land to grow yes. the fuel? Um, but that land could also be used to grow things which feed people. So that balancing act between, or is there a way or a type of biomass which can do both, where you use half of it to feed people and the stalks maybe go into, uh, uh, into generation? Yeah, unfortunately the, uh, for uh, biomass you need a lot of, uh, or you need a land to be extended, you need a lot of land. Like we're talking about only 20 megas, it takes uh, 1,500 hectares, as I said. Yeah. Uh, actually, the land was uh, sugarcane uh, uh, field, and we are replacing part of the sugar uh, uh, growing in, um, in the, this type of grass. Yeah. So it can be both, but at the end, uh, the boiler who is going to produce a steam and the steam is going to go to the turbine, uh, steam turbine to generate the 20 megas, so it will be designed for grass. So are there different types of grasses that can deliver different results uh, for the capability of biomass? Yes, the key point is uh, to have experience in these grasses, especially in that land, in these climate conditions, in this tropical uh, zone, we have to see what is the high uh, rainy season, what is the dry seasons, mm. and design it with agriculture people, what is the best for drying season to put in a irrigation system, and also when it's rainy season, how you have to take out the measure of the water uh, by drying. So mm. this, that is the example that we are doing right now before placing the orders of the, of the equipment to make sure that the grass is going to grow in. Right now, when we started, we planted uh, uh, at the end of December last year, and right now the grass is 
seven feet uh, tall right, right now. So we are getting success in these grasses. Yeah. All of the four variety, or all of the four types that we pick up, they are being growing. And we feel that this is the time that we trust in that mm -hmm. grasses. And we're gonna start placing the orders to the equipment that we expect in a year and a half to start producing the 20 megas. Mm. And are you, uh, uh, so, so we talked a bit about biomass, but obviously we're here at uh, Africa Energy Forum. Are you involved in any projects in Africa at the moment? At, at the moment, just getting to, to the market in Africa, we have a couple of projects for, um, for bridge power or energy needs in, immediately. But we we'll focus right now in Africa. We're going to open a, a company over here and go deeply in biomass and permanent uh, power solutions. So you're really just starting your engagement with Africa. We you haven't started. actually got a project yet, a live yes. project yet, but you're, you're looking for that. So in terms of what you've seen at this conference um, for, the, for the last day, uh, if I could turn you into a reporter for a second and you could tell me actually the, uh, these are the bits that I found interesting where we could maybe provide a different way of looking at a solution. Uh, what would those be? I see the, the in, in general is for us is, is excellent the way that we've seen. Uh, the points that, that is very helpful that we are able to show then our customers, future customers, that we have the capability and experience in, the, in making presentation, shows, this type of interview, uh, meet the, the real customers uh, to talk about energy solutions and find out what is the needs for, for uh, uh, right now energy or permanent solutions, biomass. Or, so it's very fun, it's an excellent uh, event for us. Mm. In your work with, in Latin America, do you see uh, a, a lot of sort of transferable models into the African market? Yeah, we see that uh, very similar markets. Uh, uh, all of the experience that we got in Latin America in developed countries or in the stage of developing the economies. Uh, and we have the same situation, remote countries, tough logistics, difficult to put the power plant and all of this we can transfer and replicate these energy projects in, in Africa that also they need energy as, as well in Latin America. Uh, in the mining sector, in the petroleum sector, in the government, utility sectors are identical, it's the same, the fuels are the same, gas, uh, fuel, and the, uh, and, and the transportation infrastructure transportation challenges are the same. And the uh, same, uh, difficult uh, to <laughs> move. Weight in the roads, uh, yeah. bridges. Uh, yeah. We had, we do have that experience. Yeah, yeah. In place. Uh, uh, so, so you know how to get, get around it. Uh, Jairo, again, thank you for making the time. I'm welcome. sorry we don't have uh, more time to talk. And uh, thank you as well for watching. Uh, remember, you can get these presentations on uh, uh, on the AEF website as well as Angirati. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you thank very you. much. For thank you.